Listening and respecting your audience is the key to moving forward in independent content creation. And many people continue to fail that miserably. Bellular News, Bellular Gaming, a pretty big YouTube channel with a really big following. A lot of people respect them. I've been watching Bellular for a while and they have absolutely stepped into it today and they simply needed to just listen to their audience and instead they have decided to keep doing the very thing that got them in this position to begin with. Now Grums tweeted out a screenshot of their really, really bad take on the entire Kotaku situation and he simply said, Bellular covers the Kotaku shift to gaming guides carefully sidesteps mentioning any of the current controversy. And that's exactly what happened in this video if you watch through it. And I say it that way because Kotaku has really, it seems anyway, to have been a very shit place to work for ages. And I think often not because of the editors in chief, more because of the you know corporate mandates that are being thrust upon them. And look, but forget what Grums has to say, forget what I have to say. What does the audience have to say that watched the video? And there you have it, a massive ratio from their own audience. And of course, if you look at the comments, it's just as bad. People are really not happy with this take. So how did Michael from Bellular respond? Well, he quote tweeted Mark Kern and he said this right here. What the fuck are you on about, Mark? And it's just like when you start out with that, it's such a bad, it's such a bad way to address this. And of course, Mark Kern responds and says, it's accurate, Bellular Gaming. You sidestepped around Kotaku's recent controversies. That was a huge factor uh, to the Geo Media's decision to switch to gaming guides, the topic of your video. He continues on, the number two traffic article on Kotaku was the hit piece on Kabrutus that lit a firestorm that everyone on the internet and gaming journalism seems to have noticed, but you, the senior editor, used this fact to help keep Kotaku focused on gaming articles a little longer and delay the guide shift. Many people feel, including your own very busy comment section, that this hit piece article precipitated the demise of Kotaku. And it's just unbelievable how out of touch some people are with this situation. And the more you started to look into this, the worse it started to get because there were people that were actually looking at it. And one comment even said, at first I was understanding the Kotaku's downfall isn't tied to the latest incident. But then I noticed fellow traveler, the publisher of your game is in the SBI client list. Makes sense why you would omit mentioning them. Michael responded and says, they've had zero involvement with us and I didn't know they existed until very recently. I just didn't think that had part to play in the VC media story. And this person just said, understood. Again, if you are covering gaming news on a consistent basis, as Bellular does, and they've done a great job of it over the last few years, but if you are covering gaming news on a consistent basis, how do you not know about Sweet Baby Inc.? Now again, to normies and average people out there, I have been hearing about Sweet Baby Inc. for over six months, it feels like now. Now, a lot of that stuff was people in my comment section or people on the internet just having the discussion, but it was a lot. There were a lot of people talking about Sweet Baby Inc. Regardless of any of that, if you just did find out about Sweet Baby Inc. after Sweet Baby Inc. detected group and the Steam group was created, you should have been covering this. This is something that if you are covering gaming and you want to be taken seriously as an independent media source, you should be covering it. And okay, fine, maybe it slipped through the cracks, Maybe you didn't know about it. Maybe it wasn't on your radar. Well, now it is. Why are you covering the Kotaku situation, but actively dancing around the true issue at hand? That's really what the biggest problem here is, is in that video, if you watch it, there is more dancing than I've ever seen around the actual problem at hand. And they're basically blaming everyone but the people that are truly responsible, which is the garbage people that 
are part of Kotaku and their writing team right now. They don't mention any of them. They're basically blaming everyone else but them, and that is a huge problem for the entire audience. Now, at this point in time, Bellular has done a lot of good work, and I'm not going to completely throw them under the bus at this point in time, but they do need to get a grip on this entire story and they need to get a grip fast because they have been respected for a long time for the way they have approached covering things. And right now, this is heading towards a potential G4 situation in terms of, are you going to continue to blame your audience? Because if you're, and I'm not saying they're gonna just shut down completely like G4, but I mean, are you going to blame your audience or are you actually going to listen to them? That is what this comes down to. So, the Sweet Baby Ink story continuing to create waves all through the internet. You guys let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Thank you very much for checking out this video, and we will talk to you later.